How you doing everybody? Nick DiVirgilio here and today's video is on these fantastic LP Latin Percussion Matador line of bongos. Now after this video is over make sure you go check us out at Sweetwater.com for more information but for now let's get into these fantastic hand drums. The bongos I have here in front of me come in traditional sizes of a 7.25 size small drum and an 8.62 inch bigger drum. Typical bongo sizes made out of Siam oak, three plies of Siam oak, which is a part of the rubber tree family. Great tone wood that's been used in making hand drums for a long time. It sounds great and it's a beautiful thing to hear. Now, whether you're into Latin music or not, having a set of bongos around is great for all kinds of situations, whether you're in a church setting, in a club, in a singer-songwriter setting, drum circles, what have you, bongos work in all kinds of styles of music, and of course, especially in Latin music. The drums come with traditional rims and very nice and sturdy 5 16 tuning rods over here. Very easy to tune. They hold the tuning for a long time. And, and then the best feature of all here is the rawhide head, traditional rawhide head, so you get the real feel and the real sound. To bring it all together for you are two fantastic Sweetwater exclusive colors. Right here in front of me is the black nebula finish. You could see the rainbow colored sparkles jumping off the shell. It's absolutely beautiful. And right there behind me is the red carved mango finish, a killer looking drum. I don't know how they do it, but they've get etched out notches and in the shell, they've done the same thing on the congas behind me. It is a fantastic visual feature. One thing that I think is really important to mention is that when you get the bongos out of the box, they're not gonna be in tune. You're gonna have to tune them. They shift them like that on purpose, and it's not hard to tune, but you get a 5 16 inch wrench, okay? And you crank it up. So what I did is I grabbed the other bongos here, and I want you to hear the difference real quick of the untuned to the tuned bongo. Tuned. Really high pitched, not tuned. So there's a huge difference there, so make sure you grab that wrench and bring your drums up to pitch. To get your drums up to pitch, it's really easy. Just grab your wrench right here, give equal turns all the way around the drum one at a time. Now when you start getting it up to pitch, it's gonna get harder to turn the, the wrench and you might even hear the head crack a little bit when you're doing it. All that means is that the head is seating on the shell, it's seating on the collar of the rim, it's totally fine, don't be worried about that. And then just keep going to where you hear the nice high-pitched crack of the small drum. A bongo drum is supposed to be pitched really high, especially the smaller drum. And that's pretty much it. Even tuning all the way around, same with the smaller drum, and then get them where you have a nice pitch interval between the two. And there you go. And you also want to get that nice crack at the first knuckle of your finger. If you got that, you're well on your way to a nice, well-pitched set of bongos. And there you have it, everybody. LP, Latin Percussion's Matador line of bongo drums. Great musical instruments, really well made, playing all kinds of styles of music. You'll have a lot of fun playing these drums. If you want any more information about any Latin percussion product, just talk to your Sweetwater sales engineer, or please go visit us at Sweetwater.com.